so hello again, welcome. I was asked to prepare some presentation on uh, team to, to compare gRPC to, to HTTP. Uh, so something about me. I think I'm the least experienced person in the room in, in Golang. <laughs> Good for me. I'm working here for one year. And before that, uh, I was building something like Uber app uh, with my own company for three years. So something like self-made man in, in Golang with, with no spectators or uh, other people. Uh, and before that, I uh, made a lot of projects for EU for Czech Technical University. And as the funny fact, uh, I'm co-author <coughs> of certified methodology for Ministry of Transportation. But it's 10 years back, I don't remember it anymore. So uh, what's the agenda for, for this topic? Uh, as mentioned, we will compare gRPC to uh, HTTP server and, and client, some easy benchmark. Uh, I will define the problem and uh, we will theoretically make some assumptions about expectations. Uh, I will benchmark marshalling for protobuf and also for JSON uh, and also benchmark the whole uh, solution. And yeah, I will not run away, don't worry, but there will be some conclusion and maybe some questions. Uh, so as I said, uh, I was trying to compare the gRPC to, to HTTP. One, uh, I use the key six and also my own benchmarks in Golang. I also try to find some other tools, but the WRK works only for HTTP and the maybe gigahertz it's felt, I'm not sure. It's works, it works for gRPC only, so mostly with first two. So what are the expectations? Uh, on paper, the gRPC sh should be faster, right? So it has faster marshalling and unmarshalling. Uh, as conclusion, also it's using binary, so the payloads are smaller. So there'll be slightly faster networking. And since it's using HTTP2, we are able to multiplex connections and uh, we are eliminating the, the head over line blocking issue when the first request blocking the others in the queue. And uh, nice, nice uh, thing about gRPC, it, it can generate the code for us for almost every known language, <laughs> programming language. So uh, I think this is, this is obvious. Some, some breakdown. So in order to make a request, there is some marshalling, there is network transfer on a server side, there is some unmarshalling on the, of the request, some processing, marshalling the, the response, again, the, the transfer, unmarshalling and client processing is not important for this, for this purpose. Uh, since we are in the sport betting company, <laughs> I, I prepared some uh, two RPCs. Uh, first one, it has uh, some sport event request with ID, which is the string, and the huge uh, response, which is the sport event response I will show you on the next slide, how the JSON look like. And uh, because I, I want to benchmark only the internals, of the, of the solutions, I also made some cached solutions. So uh, I'm, I'm asking with the empty request, I'm getting the, the cached response. So there is no allocation at all. So when comparing two solutions, what's, what's the rest other than, than you know, the allocations, the, there should be only the implementation itself. 
And uh, because I'm quite lazy, <laughs> I, I use the, the gRPC gateway to generate for me the, let's say, the first solution with the HTTP router and everything. So, uh, yeah, it didn't fit the screen only like that. Sorry. <laughs> It's, it's about one kilobyte of data for, for JSON. Uh, so this is the sample response we are getting back. And uh, yeah, this is somehow what we are using in this company. This is, this is some you know, sport event with, uh, with the competitors and uh, some markets, sport markets the, the clients are betting on with some probabilities, odds values, and some results also somebody should win the game or event. Uh, so, as I said, I, I, I wanted to break down the, the whole you know, problem. So let's, let's take a look first on uh, first ass assumption about the, the proto Marshalling and unmarshalling should be faster. So if you are using the, the standard uh, implementation, uh, it's quite fast. Uh, there is also some, you know, in, in, the, in a proto library, there, there is some tool how to transfer the, the proto buff to JSON. I, I, I think, I think uh, it's there to showcase how the, the gRPC is fast because it's so inefficient. So if you are lazy as me, and if you are just generating the protobuf and then some, you know, uh, JSON HTTP solution, uh, it has 173 allocations. So compared to other solution, it's it's very poor. Uh, and I, I tried some, uh, maybe for you known, the standard library uh, uh, package, also the JSONiter, which is quite known. And uh, I found one, I um, don't remember the, the, the library, uh, but they are claiming it's, it's the fastest. So let's, let's use it for comparison. Uh, if, if we just theoretically calculate the, the time over the network, you can see the, uh, the, the payload size really doesn't matter for, for this you know, uh, com comparison I, I used. And uh, what's surprising, the, go, uh, the, the JSON solution, the, the fastest one, is really the fastest, even compared to, to Proto. So we can say that's the draw right now, because if we calculate the, the network transfer and uh, marshalling and unmarshalling operation for the response, I omitted the, the request because it's, it's small. Uh, we have the draw right now. So then let's go to the, to the actual benchmark, the whole solution altogether. So, uh, as I said, I used the gRPC, the gRPC gateway, which was auto-generated, and I made some allocation optimized, uh, or used, not made, allocation optimized G uh, HTTP framework. Uh, I used two types of responses, as I said, one with allocation, one without. And uh, the benchmark itself, it's just, you know, the classical Golang benchmark, one as single-threaded and the second one as the parallel. So let's take a look, or do, do you want to see the code? Just quickly. Hope it's working. Oh, there is a spoiler alert because it seems I name it. So, uh, I'm not using the, let's say, normal standard package HTTP client. I'm using the fast HTTP client, which has nice features like it has no allocations at all. And since uh, it has no allocations, I also made 
the same trick as they used for my request. So I made a pool of allocation objects. So this whole solution should be allocation free. So that's, that's the optimized solution I'm using. Uh, it's quickly, quickly, quickly. It's using the pool for responses and also the requests. So you have to put it back to the pool. So that's that's the that's the quick you know peak of the code, and let's take a look on the results without the optimized solution right now. So, uh, as you can see, the gRPC solution compared to the generated one, it's faster, but not much. But if we compare it to the optimized HTTP one solution, it's almost magnitude faster than gRPC itself, which is surprising. But, you know, I don't trust myself with the code, so uh, I try to compare it with some external tool with the key, key six. I, I think you are familiar with that because it's written in Go. Uh, so, Let's, let's take a look on, on the results of the KeySit uh, benchmark. And it's even worse for gRPC because the, the solution of the fiber client server with no allocation, it's 11 times faster than gRPC. And now what? <laughs> we can go home. <laughs> Yeah, even if there is, you know, much more send data, the, the allocation itself and the garbage collector, which is cleaning those allocated objects, it made, you know, uh, the whole solution or uh, uh, much slower, the, G, uh, the, the gRPC is slower, sorry. So this is, this is the conclusion. I'm, I'm not sure if we are you know, okay right now for some discussion, maybe later, because there is a next speaker. And uh, as I said, what could be the main reasons for, for this, you know, very poor uh, performance? So my guess is those allocation and garbage collector. So uh, I think the, the gRPC as an idea is a great idea, but the implementation itself in Golang right now, it's not so good as the old, old solution could be. And I could go even further with the optimized HTTP. I could use HTTP 2 or 3. And uh, yeah, but I, I think the message from, from this presentation is clear, so there's no need to kill the poor gRPC even more, you know, punish <laughs> with this. So that's it. Thank you very much for, uh, <laughs> for, for your attendance. Thank you.